Hi everyone, so it's officially a month since my last room makeover video, so I wanted to give you an update on how my room currently looks. In this vlog, I'm hoping to upgrade my desk setup a little bit because it's a little unruly at the moment. So I started working from home lately and I quickly found out how hard it is to work off of a very tiny screen. So I'm hoping to rearrange this area a little to accommodate for a new monitor. I'm hoping to move the pegboard on the right side of my desk and shifting the wall shelf a little to the left maybe. And speaking of the wall shelf, I'm also thinking of organizing that too as it's nonsensical at the moment. Here's a quick sketch of how I might do it. It's tentative but I am thinking of maybe putting a pothos plant up there in the future then maybe one of those cool retro clocks that you see on Pinterest on the next shelf and move my diffuser and mic onto the next shelf then perhaps add a mirror and perfume area onto the next one then also have a place to store my watch and airpods charging area then a storage box at the bottom and shoes or more storage at the very bottom of the shelf but we'll see how that goes and in terms of what monitor I'm going to get, well, I'm currently eyeing either the Samsung M7 or M8, but I'm still on the research phase on that, so you'll see later on in the video which one I'll get. But for now, let's go shopping. <laughs> By the way, I didn't actually buy all of this in one go. I actually accumulated all of this in two to three weeks ago, so yeah, I planned this out. So I wanted to quickly go over the room decor that I collected so far. First, I purchased a wavy checkered pink rug from AliExpress, which I thought would provide a nice accent to my space. Additionally, I also bought a fake book that acts as both decor and extra storage to hide any small devices and jewelry that I have. The next item is something that I'm really excited about. I got this mini mushroom lamp and I really love it because it's lightweight and rechargeable so I don't have to keep it plugged in all the time. It also comes in three different light modes so you can find the right ambience for your room. I got this very cute and minimalistic mirror from Moomoo Life. There's honestly not much else to say about it. I also purchased this pillow cover and blanket from AliExpress. I am not too sure what to call this type of aesthetic. I also noticed that I am gravitating towards a more natural color palette, probably due to my new room environment. I got this cute fried egg pillow from Miniso to use as a seat cushion. Additionally, I also purchased a sunset lamp that I really like because it comes with a variety of color filters that I can easily change depending on the vibe that I want to create for my room.
Now to spice up my desk setup, Yunzi kindly sent me their YZ75 mechanical keyboard and Keynovo Type-C to USB cable. I chose the white version which complements really well with my desk with Gatoron G Pro red switches that is very satisfying to type on. The package came with a manual, charging cable, some spare keycaps, and a keycap puller. What I really like about this keyboard is that it already included lubricated switches as well as double sound absorbing foam inside so I don't have to mod it. The Keynova Type-C to USB coil cable is also pretty useful if you want a wired setup and I think it would also look really good if you have a PC setup. Its connectivity features are also great as you can connect up to 3 devices by Bluetooth or or also connect using 2.4G wireless USB. Now let's hear how it sounds. So everyone, welcome to my room. Despite the small changes that I have added, I feel like they all add up really well to give more personality to my new space. I'm really obsessed with how I've decorated my wall shelf. I just feel like my perfume collection looks so good against the sunlight and I also low-key feel like a genius for hiding my Apple Watch charging station and jewelry in this fake book. The lamps add an extra ambience to this corner which I absolutely love. Truthfully, I'm not too sure if this layout at the bottom of my shelf is gonna stick. I'll probably move my shoes at the bottom of my bed instead because I don't know. And I'm so happy that I I also bought this retro flip clock. Like I think this is my favorite room accessory that I bought right now. Moving this pegboard to the right also feels a lot better, I think. But I am tentative whether I am utilizing its space and potential right now. I am absolutely obsessed with my new keyboard as well, as I feel like it just fits with my neutral color palette in my room right now. And if anyone's wondering about what my cable management looks like, well, here it is. I honestly try my best. I don't think I have a lot of wires to begin with. It's pretty manageable using velcro and sticky tape. And I know I said I was going to get a monitor at the beginning of this video, but unfortunately it's taking a while for it to ship. So stay tuned as I'm going to make a separate desk makeover and unboxing video for that once it arrives. But moving on to my bed area, I really love my new blanket as it's super soft and I also love my little wall art area. And finally, I left this area last because I honestly don't know how to decorate it yet. 
please do let me know in the comments if you have any ideas i was thinking of adding another shelf here but again i'm not really sure but anyways that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned as i have more room and desk makeover content coming out soon anyways catch you later bye